Hello and welcome to therave.com. I'm Linda Kane. Today I'm here with Cam and Bucky of Down with Webster. What's, up? What's going on, Linda? Uh, welcome to the Rave, guys. Thank you. All right. We're... Jinx, you owe me coke. All right. Huh? Uh, nothing. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, this tour has been going strong for a little over a month, uh, but yeah, but like 35 is... days or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. But this is your last show of the tour, right? The last show oh. of the tour. Yes, it is. Bittersweet. Mm. Good. What's going on tonight, then? Um, um, giving it our all, yeah. and then. Jetting back to Toronto because we got to get ready to do some uh, this award show in Toronto. Oh. That's a big deal for for us. So yeah. it's bittersweet because we get to go back and do that, which is really fun. But mm -hmm. it's the last day on the tour, which sucks. So. But I was wondering. I mean, like, if it's your last day, is that when you go out strong and party hard, or is it more like, man, I'm tired because I pack my things up? A little up bit and, of both. Yeah. It's like, I'm you know, sure there'll be hard parties, yeah. but we gotta we gotta get our stuff in order first. Like. You know, nothing's worse than, you know, being hung over and having the whole bus just strewn with <laughs> your clothes and be like, oh, what's going on? Having to organize 30 days of your life back into a bag again is kind of hard. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you're spinning and feel like you just ate a shoe. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well put. All right, you guys have all known together for a very long time since junior high. Yeah. All right. There's this talent show you guys did. and Yes, the infamous talent show. I wasn't there for it, but it, it did happen. Some of us were. Um, <laughs> I was actually, it was, it was yeah, a school uh, music project talent show. I was in the year before, or after, actually, and uh, some of the guys did it. I saw it, but yeah. Uh, but, but more importantly than the talent show, like, we all yeah. grew up making music together. We grew exactly. up in the same area, went to the same schools. It was kind of like a group of friends slash band for a really long time, kind of growing up. It's kind of like where most people, you know, might go out and, like, skateboard or, like, you know, play video games. Us, it was like, you know, chill and make music. And we, and we like were super lucky time. to have like a space where we could record and do all our own kind of production. And that's how we put out our first record ever, mm -hmm. yeah. was but, out of our like basement. Yeah, garage and right? exactly, yeah. 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 I was gonna ask you, I, I read on the website, you guys were united by your love of music. Exactly. Great way to combine your styles, your own sound, and it's awesome. Yeah. But, so yeah, you guys in, in school in Toronto just all came together and... Very much so. Definitely, yeah. All right. Yeah. I, me and him, him right here, he's Tyler. And that's me. We were uh, actually, he was the president and I was the vice president of student council that year at our elementary school. So, fun fact. We love fun facts. Got one, Bucky? Politics. Actually, yeah. Um, I was in the grade earlier. And, or, or, yeah. You You're know, I was ahead. older. Yeah, grade yeah. ahead. And uh, actually, Tyler was vice president before he was. And then I was like, kind of like the rebel kid and we got in a fight in the hallway. And that was the first time I actually met Ty. <laughs> well, was, he re was he reprimanding you? Like, yeah, you can't was, be doing this. Yeah, I was kind of like, you know, the... Uh, Poor Ty. He, yeah, he was not, a nice not kid. Not really care about anything, you know, skip class and stuff. And then we crossed paths in the hallway one day and kind of had an exchange of how, each other's opinions. Look how cool he yeah. is now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Who would have thought? All right. Sweet. And you did talk about your first release, Time mm -hmm. to Win Volume 1. No, that, well, that's our e first. EP. That's when we got signed. Yeah. Okay. That, that's our first major release. All right. But the way we kind of got signed was we were gigging in Canada a lot, and we, were, we had an album that we had made in our basement that we were selling at these shows and sort of gaining a fan base. And we had already, you know, sold a bunch of these records mm -hmm. and we're playing shows for like, you know, we we're we we're having like a thousand kids in a room in Toronto and that's what kind of sparked labels to start getting interested. But uh, our very first major release, the one that we're super stoked about is uh, Time to Win Volume 1. There's the album cover. Right there. Check it out. Sweet. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I did see something on your Twitter page today um, regarding the city of Milwaukee, the good land. I don't know who wrote it in the band or whoever does your Twitter, but um, re referring to Wayne's World. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, Milwaukee. Yes. Yeah. We're and so not like, worthy. Say, We're <laughs> not worthy. <laughs> You're trying to find out how to say time to win in Elginkin. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't what, know. What? That was on the Twitter. Someone said, how, really? do, you, how do you say time to win? Yeah. Okay. And I, I we don't Elgin know. That. I wish, I wish I knew. I wish I knew too. I wish I knew what Elginkin was. It's the same language. I wouldn't feel so dumb. Milwaukee came from. The good land. Oh, is it like a Native American language? Yeah. Yes. There you go. See, that would have been my thing. I'm fact. learning things. I'm learning things. <laughs> Learned many things here in Milwaukee. So, from my understanding, there's going to be a Time to Win Volume 2. Yes, yes. Right? we are working right. on it as we speak, actually. Or we could just like throw a complete curveball and just be like, no, no, no. it's not happening. Volume 5. Yeah. We're skipping. We're going to pull a no, uh, George Lucas and release, you know. There, there's definitely going to be a Time to Win Volume 2. It's actually going to probably come out fairly shortly. Like, we have it all written and Hopefully, yeah. mostly recorded. The end of summer, maybe uh, fall, definitely should be uh, yeah. 
Not but until then, like we're still going hard on this one. Um, back in Canada, we're on our third single. We're about to go on our second single here in the U.S. So yeah, song requested, called Your Man. Requested on your radio stations, everybody. Yeah, because apparently that's how radio works nowadays. Yeah. People call in still. Yeah. It's like, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys get a chance? Internet. Yeah, but what is yeah. internet these days? Internet. I don't know. What's that? W, right. w, what? All right. <laughs> Did you guys get a chance to explore the rave yet today? No. Yeah, well, a little bit. I've looked around a bit. I heard Kid Rock designed the uh, green rooms. They're very, there is a uh, Kid Rock dressing room. They are very, uh, yeah, it's very hippie-ish. <laughs> yeah, like, we got sort of a rough tour when we were on our way up to this room. Um, it was super dark, and I almost tripped on a I heard this place was haunted. It, it, it maybe I don't know. We're ready to be different stories, but next time you guys are here, I hope you. I heard there's some tunnel there's, that we can go search in, and it's apparently that empty terrifying. Pool, there's a boiler room. There's lots of good stuff. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go explore after this. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Beats packing. <laughs> <laughs> so besides Time to Win Volume Two, any other upcoming projects this summer? Or upcoming just projects just mainly like what we're doing is uh, spreading like, the word. Like yeah. I said, we have this award show that we're playing. It's the MMVA's Much yeah. Music Video Awards. Um, we're going to be doing that, which you can watch on Fuse down here. Mm-hmm. Um, we're also doing a bunch of bigger headlining shows of our own up in Canada. We're actually going to come back down here and do a run in, in the States that July, we yeah. headline in July. So look out for that, guys. Hopefully we'll be back here. And uh, we'll still pumping the album and the single. like uh, It's getting released to radio in literally like a week or two. So just going hard on that. Exactly. Again, request, 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 please, right. if you like us. Rock on, guys. Thank you so much. I know your show is always a party. It is. To we it. try. Yes. We Good like, time, We guys. like to have fun. Yeah. Great. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us no here problem. on Rave.com. Thank you. Yeah. We'll see you guys later. And thank you for watching the Rave.com. Make sure to check out Down With Webster's current release, Time to Win Volume 1. We'll see you soon next time on the Rave.com.